and la 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 la. Oh yeah, working. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Going to make a video today. Also, experiment. I'm trying a different camera. Uh, the ones that've been with me a while, you can let me know if this looks better or worse. So I usually use this, the DJI Osmo. It's an older DJI, but I bought this when they come out. I love this thing. And this one don't have the external mic or nothing. So anyways, let me know if it's better or worse than that one. This is a GoPro 9 I picked up. They had them on clearance and why not? And it don't have a mic or nothing. But anyway, for the topic at hand today, we're gonna put an hour meter in this. And another reason I want to try this camera, the Osmo, the only complaint I got, it don't like low light. And this shop has got not real good lighting, but it looks really good on this camera. So if this works, we can do a whole lot more videos in the shop at night, which I usually am out here. So hopefully it'll work better. And I'm going to finish this up this week and get this other row of lights on. So no video on that, boring stuff. But anyway, for the topic at hand today, let me get this out of the way. Da -da -da -da. Don't mind the mess, it's a shop, it's supposed to be that way. Now, I got a new hour meter. These are universal. This one that comes in this is an old analog meter that runs on a, you know, just a hot in the ground and it turns slowly and it absolutely sucks. The way they wired this, they've got it on this kill switch. And if it's on, it'll sit there and tick. Let's see. Yeah, it's the other way. Go that way. Hear it? It doesn't run off the key. It only runs off that kill, which I do not like because if you leave it on, it keeps reading hours and that don't work. I mean, that's, it's showing 57 hours. It ain't got nowhere near that on it yet. It's got around 15 on it. I've kind of kept track. So let's get this out. Let me set the uh, camera up here. I'll kind of show you what I ordered. These are universal for small engines. And what I like about them, get the camera set up here what i like about these they only work when the engine runs up we go yeah but what i like about these they only work when the engine is running they've got an induction wire on them and you go off the uh, spark plug wire you hook it up to so open this up and that way the hours will be correct and it will only work when the engine is running nice small these things eh, i think this was 15 bucks so it just runs off induction it's real simple it's got a battery in it if i can get it open ta-da okay real basic sample and it's got a tack on it too is why i like this one tack an hour hopefully i can get the tack running which I've done engines so long, I'd usually just, I can hear it by ear. I probably won't even use the tag, but it was an option. It didn't cost anymore. <laughs> so, but I'll hook this up and we'll get this out. And it gives, comes with a nice long wire. So, like I said, you'll run about three wraps of these on your spark plug wire. And I will get it straightened out because I'm going to have to run it for fairly decent distance. Then right here at the back is where your battery is going to be. So, let's just take a peek here. Ta-da! Make sure I can see what I'm doing here. Nice big round battery. I can do it without. Just simple, and you got a little tab here. You pull out, and she's live. Or should be live. Why oh, ain't it sitting back in there? I did something, didn't I? Oh, I see. A little old round, two little tabs in there, and I jumped over one. Okay. Yeah, it's only slightly finicky. There we go. Okay, that might be kind of fun. But if you don't get it just right, it'll pop back out on you. Oh, there's two of them. All right, get a little rubber seal in there. 
Just be quick. Be quick, be quick, be quick. All right. So, it's coming on. I don't know what all them numbers are about. Zero and out. There we go. Ta-da. All you got to do is just put two screws in this, mount it where you want it, and run this around the wire. So, I will set up and get this ready. Come with some zip ties, instruction manual. We're men. We don't need instructions. So, very simple. And first things first, see if I can get you set up over here. Da, 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 da. This stupid thing is coming out and you'll want to tape these two wires. There's a hot in the ground. Obviously you do not want that hot bouncing around. This garbage, don't need that. So, uh, well, I had my tape in my back pocket. I must have done something with it. What did I do with it? All right, I will be back as soon as I find my tape because I have to tape this. It's dead now, but I'll be right back as soon as I find it. All right, everybody, I'm back. That took a while. That fell out of my pocket. It was out here in the shop, so wasn't where I put it. It was where it fell. Anyway, I got that done, and if you can see it or not, I taped the hot up. I went ahead and taped the ground, too. I left these just in case I ever wanted to hook something to them that's got the female plugs on it. Uh, you know, I might want to hook a switch to that and a light or something later, so works off the disconnect. But anyway, it's tucked away under there for now. And we're getting ready to put this on. And it comes with two little deals of Velcro. You can see it's got the hole in it for the battery opening. Then you got your other piece, you stick to that, and you can stick that just right there where you want it. So for now, let's go ahead and do that. Never really was very good at this stuff. Usually too messy. So hopefully you can see me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it right over that little battery cover there. Rub it on. It's got good 3M tape too. Surprised being Chinesium. Got name brand. Name brand glue. Special. All right, then you'll match that up, which will be like right there. And booyah, right there's where I want it. Yeah. Hopefully you can see that. Nice, right by the seat, I can see it. So, boy, it's good Velcro, holy cow. Okay. So, in on this, let me get this down. <laughs> You'll need two. This one has a service deal on it where you can set the service, the RPM and all that, but you need to do a manual setting. So when you get it, it does come with the setting. Like I said, I threw away the mounting instructions while I go, but save this because this has got the codes in it for the different engines. So you'll know which one you want. Then you hold it on this particular one on S, I think. Ah, you go to it first, then hold it. 1P, 1R, we don't want that. We want 1P, 2R. If I remember right, four stroke, one cylinder. Yep, 1P, 2R, and you just let it blink and it'll go off. Ta-da, that's all set. So, next thing. I don't want to mount or drill a hole in this, but I might. It's kind of in a bad spot for me. If I go anywhere. There's plenty of room right there. So what I'm going to do is this right here. I'm going to run my wire backwards a little bit. I'm going to go right through. Actually, hey, I got a plug hole right here. How about that? That's something else, you know, I could run a cigarette lighter right there. I might do that. Then I can run a USB charger and all that off the two wires that go to this, you know, on this kill switch over here. Move you a little bit. I'm just gonna go right through here. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. I got plenty of room. I'm going right beside. I'll show you what I did here in a second. Bear with me. 
All right, I'm just gonna kind of loop it around and run it in just like that. That's all to the side. That shouldn't be in the way of anything. So, okay. I just kind of, I wanted it where the numbers was right, but I just kind of looped it back through and right beside this cable. And I took this back off. And all you're gonna do is wrap it three to four times on this. I'll go ahead and wrap this four times. So, I mean, like I said, this is just an induction coil. I've got plenty of it, but I will go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera because I'm gonna crawl and I can't hardly see in here, but I'm gonna get that cable laid in there the way I want it, but on this excavator, but I'm just gonna wrap it four times around this and that's what your wire goes through, around your spark plug wire. Just wrap, you know, all the way around it four times and you're good. So when I get that done and I come back after I get it laid in here, cause I don't want it touching nothing hot, I'll get that on, I'll bring the camera back and we'll fire it up and we'll, you know, see how good it works. Cause what I like about this one, it only comes on when the engine's running and I mainly wanted this, know how many hours is on this for a service, no one do the oil changes and all that stuff. So that other one was an absolute joke. I hated it. So anyway, we did away with that. So. Hang on, I'll be back just a second when I get it done. We'll run it and I'll show you everything working. So, see you in a second. All right, back, got it done. I'll show you what I did. Took the back off the excavator, it's easier to get to, but they send you two zip ties, you'll need them because that wire is very soft and it unravels itself, but I wrapped it around four different times. Put a zip tie on both ends to hold it. Very simple, run it up there. Gonna tape the wires together where they're not touching, and that's that. So, moment of truth. Let's uh, get everything in order here, and let's set this down. And, la 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 la. It'll show you the hours when it ain't running. When it's running, it'll go back to the hours. think it'll mess with it but we might take one kind of unravel it and i might adjust that a little bit too so anyways the main thing i was worried about is the hour meter i can do that by ear on my engines like i said i've done them so long um, i don't believe that's right uh, i ain't gonna get much more the way i did that so yeah here's what it is unless i got the let's see here Four stroke, one cylinder, one P2R. And I've got it on one P2R, so I'd say that's probably not right. The only other thing I might try, I might try three reps instead of my four and see if that makes any difference. So, I got some zip ties. Let me go try it and we'll just see if it makes a difference. So hang on. All right, got it figured out. So that didn't make, let me grab my light. That did not make any difference. I took one wrap out, put it on. It's got technically four on it now. Three full ones and kind of a partial on each side, but it didn't matter either way. 
And I double check this. If you'll look, let's see, the one P2R, which it ain't gonna focus, it says it's a four stroke one cylinder, but on the bottom under that it says, note, some four stroke one cylinder engine is one P1R. The setting is the same way as the two stroke one cylinder. So I put it back to the one P1R, and guess what? That's right. See that? 2000, 2090, 21. That is right. I can hear it. That one's right. It was at 3700 RPM. So, it was at 30 some hundred, 30 some hundred RPM a while ago, just above an idle. That's just slightly revved, and that's about 2100. That, I believe, I can hear that. That's right. So, just play with both settings. So, anyway, not the most exciting video, but now you know how to put one of these in. And I figured it'd be something different, but that janky little thing that come with it, I undid that. But I think I will take those two hots, knock this out, and put a little, you know, outside weatherproof cigarette lighter and I can plug stuff in it. So that's probably what's going to happen with them two. Good thing I didn't cut them off. <laughs> so I guess I'll put this together, but let me know on this video. I'm going to upload it either way about how the video quality turns out because I'm curious. And stay tuned. I'm going to do some more videos on this Chinese Mini X I bought. Kind of going over it and stuff like, don't like, why I went with this brand. Just different things. And it's a very handy little machine. You ain't going to do a big job with it. But I do lots of little stuff with it. So I like it. And we're, more stuff for that coming up and some bills and the wood yard and all that. So anyways, I guess that's it. So if you're thinking about one of them little meters, they're they're great. And this one you can actually, if I can find it, it's been laying around here a while. I'll try to leave a link, but it's got a deal where you can set it to, you know, like service will blink in so many hours. And I wanted the, the tack and the manual, but if you can, if I don't just type in universal tack or small engine tag or something like that on eBay or Amazon, they're everywhere and just look through them. So I'm going to call it. So I hope you liked this video. If you do give it a thumbs up, it helps me out and you know, click subscribe if you haven't already. More stuff to come and hit the bell and you'll get notified of all the stuff to come. More coming. And I guess that's it. So as always, like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.